All right. Now we're doing free code camp, responsive web design, build a technical documentation page, user stories number five. So the main section elements should contain at least 10 P elements total, not each. So yeah, two each. So what we're going to do on this one is we're going to put uh, two paragraphs, two P's in each one of these. Uh, so we'll come over here and say P and then close P. And then for the text, we're just going to put something like this. Uh, this is paragraph and then space. And then we'll put a period after the uh, space. And then we'll uh, fill all this stuff in later. So let's take from the uh, end of the P and uh, bring it up here by the header. Copy that and then paste it. Now we've got two of these. Now let's take both of them, copy that. And then at the end of each header, paste another one. Let's start at five so we don't have to scroll down. So let's say uh, control V, control V, control V, and control V. Now we got to come in front of each one of these periods and put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then nine and 10. All right, and that should be good enough. Let's open up the console over here, come down here, run the tests. We should have at least five code elements that are descendants of main section elements. All right, that looks like what's uh, coming up on story six. So that's the one we're gonna be doing and we'll see you next time.